So this is my long overdue update on these NICAD batteries, uh, just as I sell them on. Um, I had them in service for maybe three months, and what I found with NICADs, which you know anyone with some experience in it knows, is that they're constant current charging batteries, where just about everything else these days, especially lead acid and uh, life PO4, are constant voltage charging. Well, actually, a mix of both, but um, but primarily you're looking to get up to that voltages, um, and that's when you switch over to absorption. Anyway, um, so I decided to let these go. What I found in practice was, even though these were rated at about probably about six kilowatt hours of storage, by virtue of modern charges that especially the Victron Multi Plus that I'm using, which aren't very configurable. I can't really... I spent most of my time trying to make a constant voltage charger, a constant current charger. So I was able to trick it to some extent, but not enough to actually get the full benefit of these batteries. So with the way life PO4s are going in terms of power, I thought now it's probably best, rather than build a constant current solar charger just to cut my losses and move on to another uh, move on to another battery chemistry. So my verdict on them is, look, if you get them for not very much money, as I said, I'm, these owe me about 250 bucks a set, and that's what I'm selling them on for. Um, and you don't mind the fact that when you do finally need to dispose of them, they are going to be a pain. Look, if you can get them in bulk, you can get yourself a battery a pretty big battery for not a lot of money, especially if you want to go to the effort of building a constant current charger. Um, but uh, so it'd be interesting to look. Maybe some of the more uh, flexible and in inverted commas Chinese uh, inverter chargers. Maybe you can make them um, a little bit more uh, NICAD friendly. Um, but certainly using the Victron kit, you can't really do it. But but as I said, I so I found. Of this, which should be about six kilowatt hours, I'd get maybe two and a half to three kilowatt hours in them by just basically jacking up the voltage. So the charger would continue to think I've got more to go in terms of amps. So anyway, so in summary, look good if you get them essentially for nothing, but um, but prepare, be prepared to need to experiment. Thanks for watching.